Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video I'll be teaching you how to wake up early. We've all seen those super early 5 a.m. morning routines and thought, wow, I wish I could do that. And you can, even if you're not a morning person because I hated waking up early and now I wake up at 5.30 almost every morning. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. Number one is starting slow. This is so important. It can be very tempting just to jump in when you usually wake up at eight o'clock to then start waking up at six. It's very difficult and is not a good way to start. Start by setting your alarm 30 minutes before you usually wake up. For example, if you wake up at seven, then set your alarm for 6.30. And then after that, start it for six. And then after you've gotten used to waking up at six, if you want to, you can keep going to 5.30, five, Number two, set your alarm far away from you. If your phone is really close to you, you're most likely just going to hit the snooze button and go back to bed. If your phone is super far away from you, you'll have to get out of bed and then go turn it off, and you might as well just start your morning there. Number three, the five second rule. This one is also related to getting you out of bed in the morning when you definitely don't want to. This one is very, very, very simple. All you have to do is count down from five until you hit one. And when you hit one, you're going to get up and take action. So for example, if you're laying in bed and you can't decide whether to get up or not after your alarm has gone off and you still wanna go back to bed, just count down from five, four, three, two, one. And as soon as you hit one, get up and start doing something. Whether that's going to get, grab a glass of water, getting into a change of clothes, Whatever it is. Number four, have a reason to wake up. I know that sounds super weird, but have a reason, whether that's an activity you want to do, or you want to have some alone time before everybody wakes up, or you have a class that you cannot miss today. Those are incentives to help you get out of bed and get your morning started. If you have really nothing to do, you're more likely just to go back to sleep. Have your list of reasons ready for when you start wanting to go back to bed even after your alarm has gone off. Number five, last but definitely not least, get enough sleep. And I mean it, this is so important, I cannot stress this enough. We are teenagers, so we need to be going to bed pretty early and having enough sleep, especially if we're waking up early. It is recommended for us to get eight hours or more of sleep. So, do it. Because you don't want to be going to bed at 11 o'clock and then trying to wake up at 5 a.m. It's really unhealthy and you don't want to feel like you just got six hours of sleep every night. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I always appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and check out my page to see if there's any other videos that you might like. I post content about habit tracking and routines and all other kinds of things that you could enjoy. Also, I just launched a Instagram page, so go 